by making mistakes is a stepping stone to success. And this is a story or this is a topic we want to talk about today. Um, and it's Finance 5. I'm your host, Manu. And today I'm really, really stoked about this topic because it's a topic is tough for you and me. And uh, I want to be real in this video. I want to be clear in that video. Um, and I want to share why I believe mistakes and failure is so important and crucial for success. And um, yeah, with this video, I mean, so many people out there are afraid of starting something uh, because of failure, because they expect to fail. Uh, they, they don't want to feel the embarrassment uh, once they fail. And uh, maybe you are afraid of starting investing your money uh, because you are afraid of failing. And uh, actually, I am really confident in investing, but I am so scared of making those videos. Uh, but I get pushed by myself to make these videos because that's the only way I, how I can talk to you, how I can uh, give you some uh, maybe help alongside your investment journey. And with this video, I mean, uh, this will be so messed up. I promise you that it will be so messed up because I just started with making videos. I just started with YouTube. Uh, I just started with my podcast. I mean, my podcast on, on iTunes has, I think I had one listener in the last seven or eight episodes. With YouTube, uh, barely someone is watching these videos at the moment, but it's okay. It's my beginning. It's my beginning on this journey of making videos, of training people, of giving you something of value and equipping you and empowering you for your investing journey. When it comes to investing myself, I'm confident. I know what to do, but I started with a lot of mistakes as well. And the crazy thing is with every kid out there and uh, when we were kids and we were just started to learn to walk, uh, there was the expectation of everyone around us, the kid needs to fall and fall and fall. Eventually, one day the kid will walk, the kid will run. Um, and some of us even, they will fly, like you say in bald. Um, and the, the thing is, no one expects a kid to stand up and just walk. Everyone is expecting a kid to fall over, to stumble. And uh, that's the process of learning. So with every time the kid was falling over, it stood up again, it learned something, it got more confidence in walking, it had the desire to walk, eventually the kid was walking. Uh, but the problem is that our schooling system worldwide actually is uh, teaching us that stupid thing of a mistake is one thing and winning is the other thing. So if you have an exam, uh, exam, another mess up if you have an exam or if you have some tests in school on and and and, and you you fail that that means you don't win in the schooling system if you did everything right you win the test is perfect and um, the, the thing with that um, mindset of uh, having it black and white mistakes and failure on one side and winning and succeeding on the other side that's actually something that trains us uh, or oh, we need to best prepare so we can do the first step, so we can take that test. But life is different. In life, our test in life is doing something every day, falling and falling and falling. Eventually, we will stand up. Eventually, we will run and it will work. Uh, if you like do the same test in school over and over again, they kick you out of school. So um, that's something that's embedded in our mindset and we need to break this false belief if we want to have success in any area of life. And uh, today we're talking about still financial self-defense. And I want to illustrate that with a really, really cool practical thing and um, self-defense classes. So if you ever have been to a self-defense class, um, you might know what I'm talking about. If nev you, you've never been to a self-defense class, I highly encourage you to try to do it. Uh, it will help you. It will boost your confidence. And uh, the thing I'm talking now about is something you will experience as well. So uh, let's say I've never been to a self-defense class. I've never learned how to defend myself. I'm walking uh, on the street. It's nighttime. Someone attacks me. The attacker has a plan. The attacker knows what to do. The attacker knows uh, what to expect. Um, at least he assumes. I don't have a clue that someone is attacking me in the next couple of seconds. So if the attacker comes and attacks me, maybe he wants to rob me, maybe he wants to hit me, whatever he wants to do. I am not prepared. I don't know what to do. And I will fail. And I will fail on the street. And that can be very, very problematic uh, if he hits me and I yeah, fall badly or hits me with, 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 with something. 
um, and uh, I never experienced failure in self-defense. Uh, it's hard to start when you are in a real life example um, or in a real life situation. Um, and that's why self-defense classes simulate that the trainer is attacking you. And the first time you will suck and the second time you will suck and the tenth time you will suck. But every time the trainer attacks you and he's playing the attacker, um, he will teach you some techniques and you will embed the techniques and every time you try it, you try it, you try it and you twist it a little bit and you make it, you, you adapt it to your own personality, how to uh, defend yourself and eventually uh, the, the trainer as the attacker attacks you from all kinds of angles and you know how to defend yourself. And when the real life situation appears after that training, now guess what's happening? If someone attacks you, you know what to do. It's in you and it really helps you. So failing in a training environment along the way, over weeks, over months, maybe over years, equips you in a real life situation to know what to do and you will win on the street. And um, you see that that video, Finance 5, the show for five minutes and my mistake or I failed, it's already six minutes, but it's okay because I want to illustrate a point. I believe this is so such an important topic to talk about um, because so many are afraid of failing. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of failing with this show. And actually I was like, uh, yeah, not doing the whole uh, finance five show for like almost a year before I started because I was like oh what would people think and uh, what if they critique me and uh, what if I just say some stuff no one understands and uh, what if I'm wrong if I say something it's all these kind of things but hey I'm starting in this journey uh, if you want to boost my confidence give me a like give me a subscribe or uh, even leave a lovely comment I would I would kiss your feet for that because uh, for me, it's really hard because it's the beginning. But if investing is something you struggle with and you want to begin with, because on the other side is wealth and uh, wealth can yeah, change your life significantly. So if you say, I want to actually learn that, I want to go um, that journey, uh, I want to encourage you for the next season, see it as a training season of investing. See it as a financial self-defense class where you learn the techniques, where you learn what to do, uh, where you set up, yeah, where you set yourself up for failure. Um, let's say you you have like a budget of a thousand dollars, and you say, okay, for the next three months, I'm not making money with that. I want to experience the mistakes, the failures, to learn from it, and um, to get better, to love the process, to get better, to know what to do um, in a specific market. And you try like a hundred bucks in those st stocks and a hundred bucks in those cryptocurrencies. And if you get 50 back, you get 50 back. If you get 200 back, you get 200 back. What you need to do is also um, assess what you've done. Have a journal. That really helps. Write everything down. When you invested, when you pull the money out, uh, how much you invested. Are you driven by fear or greed or other emotions when you were investing? Did you do your research, your due diligence? Um, how was your approach with this investment? Could you sleep at night because you invested? That was an indicator that you maybe invested too much for the beginning. And it's so valuable and so good for your journey. And um, the process, listen, is super simple. You train, you fail, you assess, you adapt. Pretty much what you do in a self-defense class. You train, then you fail, then you assess. Okay, what did I just do wrong because he could hit me. Next time I adapt, okay, I do it differently with investing. Just assess what you did and then adapt. And you repeat, you rinse and repeat that process over and over again. Training, failing, assessing, adapting. And eventually you will get better and better. You suck less and less and you are on the road to winning. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, I, ho I really hope this was helpful for you. And uh, as you can see, that video or that podcast show is like 10 minutes almost. So uh, I better stop now because otherwise I should call it Finance 10 or Finance 5. Okay, it was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you and I wish you all the best.